the eagle was trapped in the mire and could not move. It tried its best to scramble, but it was helplessly sinking deeper and deeper. What happened to it? And what had made it into this situation, this was a nature photographer from Poland. His usual job was to go deep into the nature where few people went, to photograph the wildlife that did not often appear in the mountains and swamps, this work required a lot of time and experience, and sometimes accidentally into danger. This time he went into the wild as usual, hoping to capture some beautiful images. When he came to a huge swampy area nearby, he saw a scene that made him incredulous. Among the thick mud in the swamp area trapped in a wild animal, but it had been covered with sludge. It could not move, and even difficult to see what exactly that animal was. After careful observation of the photographer, he saw the animal in swamp was an eagle. The eagle seemed to have been trapped in the swamp for a long time, and it no longer had much strength to struggle. Just kept sinking down into, if he continued to leave it alone, the eagle would be in great danger and there was no one else nearby to save it, so the photographer immediately called the local firefighters and waited anxiously. He used a very long rope to ensure that he would not completely sink into the swamp, and with this rope to keep moving his body in order to the be close to the eagle. The photographer lay on his back and kept moving in the swamp, and eventually he got close to the eagle. But such wild animals like the eagle, it was naturally very fearful of humans, not to mention in such an extreme conditions. The eagle's condition was very unstable and it directly attacked the photographer who came to rescue it. But the photographer did not retreat. He waited for the eagle to quiet down, after it getting used to his presence, he grabbed the eagle, with the same way to lie on his back on the swamp, and slowly moved back. The road back was very long. Especially the photographer increased his weight, but he still went back to the safety of the area step by step, the eagle's safety was also secured, the eagle was rescued and immediately taken to a nearby rescue site and placed in the care of wildlife conservationists. It was a six-month-old white-tailed eagle, and it was probably the first time it had ever flown, which was why it accidentally fell into the swamp and showed great panic and anxiety. But after the care of the staff, the eagle eventually recovered and was successfully released back into nature, dot by coincidence, such a story also happened in the United States. This incident happened on Route 30 in Pennsylvania. Denton was riding his motorcycle home. But this road he had went many times before became a little strange, the traffic was very slow, and had no signs of recovery for a long time. So Denton stopped to see where the problem was. He found that the reason why the vehicles passing nearby were slowing down to avoid an injured vulture trapped in the middle of the road. He also saw other people gently push the vulture with hands, but the vulture did not leave. The vulture would be in danger if this continued, so Denton immediately made the choice to wrap the vulture in his face cloth shirt and took it off the dangerous highway. Denton and the vulture waited on the highway for about 45 minutes before the rescue team arrived. When the rescue team tried to put the vulture in a box to take it away, the vulture's talons hooked tightly onto Denton's shirt, not wanting to leave its rescuer. Next, let's look at this story. A wolf accidentally fell into a deep well, it was isolated and helpless. And could only wail desperately. Seeing such a scene, a man risked his life to save the wolf. When they were separated, this scene happened. Like human beings, animals also have feelings and hearts, and they can understand who is to help them and who is to threaten them. As long as we can treat them with a sincere heart, we can get their sincere response.